I'm trying to find the best view of the city. There's something really special about watching the sunrise uh, come up and, and having to wait there and not having any music or any stimulants or anything. Just I just haven't done that in a while. I haven't just done, just sat there and been forced to take it in. And I kind of liked it. I'm very sorry, but because of this little guy, you're not going to have the same audio quality. So just bear with me for this first little bit. He will attack the camera. I'm house sitting for my sister's cat right now, which is super fun because I've been wanting to try living alone for a super long time. But there were some unexpected things that I didn't know would happen. Here's some things that, I, that I've discovered in my first time living alone. Here we go. Number one, ramen noodles aren't actually good for you. <laughs> After a while of eating this stuff, it's actually bad for your stomach. Number two, it gets lonely pretty fast. Um, and it's not that I don't have friends over and it's not that I'm not talking to people, but it, it's just like you are by yourself. I'm, I'm very used to being with other people a lot. It's kind of hard to get accustomed to when you're just by yourself. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. No, okay. Well, number three. The cat calmed down so we have some better audio now. Nice. Plants need to be watered. Uh, my sister really likes having plants around the house, which is awesome. It adds the whole vibe. It makes it, it smells like oxygen all the time here. Your room must just smell like oxygen. I'm not very good with plants, and my sister has exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 33, 34, 35, 41. 41 plants. And there's exactly one of me that doesn't know how to take care of them. So, hope your plants don't die, Anna. Number four, you get a lot more freedom when you live alone. It's probably the best part of living alone. I take out the trash when I want to, I make my food when I want to, I make my food how I want to, which is awesome. However, leads to number five, responsibilities. If you don't do the dishes, they pile up quickly. If you don't take out the trash, it piles up quickly. If you make bad things for yourself, you feel sick. So you're, res you're fully responsible for yourself, which is kind of fun. I sound like a 40 year old mom when I say that, but you know what I mean, right? It's like at the end of the day, if you really did do a good job and you took care of yourself and you were productive, it feels so good. It's so empowering. Number six, cats are annoying. They are annoying. I really like being responsible for myself. You know, we're just gonna go handheld. This little pooper's being annoying. Hey. I really like being responsible for my own things. I, I like being able to control my entire life. And as annoying as this cat is being right now, he's actually such a great little guy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out if, you, if you're thinking about living alone. It's, it's a really cool experience. I would recommend it. And you do learn a lot about yourself. Please subscribe. 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's the goal. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. What's up? This is Editing Chris. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. So as a little surprise, fun present for you guys, here's a montage that I made with uh, my friend Paul of Calgary at Night. Enjoy. Women and women assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever. Yeah, the wonderful thing about that is that it speaks to people. This is
the number 